your MP, your minister, your governor, your president. Please share this part of the video with them. Hi guys, welcome back to Nana's channel. As I told you, today I'm going to show you how first world toilet looks like. Um, having lived in the so-called third world country, I kind of have an idea of <laughs> what the toilets there looks like. So I just want to show you what a first world country toilet looks like. I know that's weird to say, but there's some differences that some of them are really, 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 most of them I really, really do like. And if there's any leader, any politician watching, or you could share with your leader, to implement some of the things that we have here that would be really great let me show you how a first world toilet looks like in canada so guys um there are signs of course there are signs everywhere showing you that this is uh, a toilet washroom or a toilet so there we go there's this sign showing you that it's a women's toilet get in hoping that there's nobody in here yeah there we go as you come in, there is this um, paper towel dispenser where after you wash your hands, you can simply um, get a paper towel and dry your hands if you don't want to use the electric one. Also, it's automatic, so you just, um, you know, <laughs> you kind of place your, your hands close to it and the paper automatically comes out. Let's remove this. There you go and the paper comes out and you can use it. There's also a trash can so you don't there's also a trash can so you don't have to worry about where you throw it. As you can see, it is very clean, you guys. Very clean. This is these are the toilets. And on this side, you guys, this is the where you wash your your hands. Okay, let me show you. This is where you wash your hands, you guys, and uh, the design is so unique and modern, which uh, I like. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> Girls with mirrors, you just want to check if you're all, all right. Anyways, um, there are these, um, you know, where you wash your hands after you use the toilet, the bathroom, of course. And uh, they're also automatic. So that means that you don't have to press anything. You don't have to do anything. So what you do, because it's automatic, all you do is um, you put your hands underneath and the soap coming out. Pretty much putting your hands underneath, then soap comes down. You see this light? This is for soap. And there are little, uh, let me show you, there are little signs showing that that is the soap dispenser. I'll show you. I don't know if you can see. So yeah, this is soap. And then this is water, if you can see. This is the sign for water. Yeah, this is the electric dryer. So you get your soap over here. You wash your hands, see, the water comes out automatically. And then after you wash your hands, the <laughs> The design is so unique, it's so beautiful. Look at the walls, you know, so nice, no smells. This is the place where um, you can come and even hang out <laughs> if you want, because it's so clean and so well maintained. Now there's this thing that I wanted to talk about that I must talk about. If you can see in front of the camera is a sanitary towel location or dispenser however you want to call it now this is one thing that i personally would advocate for all leaders this is one thing that all countries regardless of whether you are a third world country or a first world country we should implement now this is where we have sanitary towels for the ladies remember this is the females um washroom this is very important and i guess you know why it is important and this is something that i needed to take time to talk about now in my country in africa in my country specifically in kenya i have never seen this anywhere where they provide sanitary towels for the girlies in this country all schools colleges universities you will find free um sanitary towels and you don't just find the pads, you also find the tampons. 
so you can choose which one you would like to use and guys if you can read here it's written this organization believes that period care is just as essential as toilet paper it is very essential you see women don't choose to go to have their periods it just happens and uh, personally i feel like because in my country there's some places there's some organizations that offer condoms for free but not sanitary towels and i strongly feel and believe that sanitary towels should be free for every single girl or woman it should be free i'd rather you sell condoms and give sanitary towels for free because guys think about it every month a girl a woman has periods and depending on the severity of it the girls who have it for four days for seven days the people who go for 10 days and if you're lucky you can go for three days and that means for a girl in primary school who cannot afford sanitary towels or the parents cannot afford sanitary towels that means that they are off school for how long for at least three days that's the least sometimes it goes for four five or six every single month and that means that uh, in a semester, how many days of school is that girl missing on? And then those girls, they're expected to compete with their male counterparts. I don't think that's fair. Like to be very honest, that is one thing that we as a country, we as a people, we as third world, we need to change. So yeah, anyways, <laughs> sorry for digressing, but that is an important factor that we need to consider and um, yeah so if your leader your MP your minister your governor your president please share this part of the video with them because we need to advocate for girls so that they can get sanitary towers now you guys this thing is always here it's not just today it's a weekend, I'm not working this way, I'm here to do the video. It's a weekend and these things are here. So what I'm saying is nobody is gonna take more than they need, okay? It's also written, you take what you need. Take what you need, leave the rest for others. Nobody is gonna take more than what they need because why? These sanitary towels are gonna be here every day. Okay, so we need, if you need them today, you'll come and use whatever you need. You'll come back tomorrow, you'll still get, the, get them here. Or if you want to take home like a couple for your period for that month, you can. They're always replaced. So nobody is gonna like pick so much that they don't need and then just, you know, maybe. Cause I know like this could be a business opportunity for some people somewhere. They hold, hold, take a lot and then go resell. Here nobody's gonna buy them from you because you know why? They're free in schools, okay? So that's why they're always here. People will never take more than they don't, don't need. And also the organization always replaces them. So people who are working here always make sure that sanitary towels are available. I know I've talked more <laughs> about that. I get so passionate about sanitary towels because that is a story of my life. Like going to school back then, primary school, and you're on your period, story for another day. Anyways, guys, um, this is a really good idea, but let's move to the toilets now, inside the toilet. These are the toilets, very clean as you can see. I'm gonna take you to the biggest toilet. If you can see, this one has a handle here, but these other ones do not have a handle. This one usually is used by uh, disabled women or mothers or, you know, elderly. So they have somewhere to hold. And then when you come in, this is how the toilet looks like. So you come in. Knock yourself. There's this uh, part where you hang, you can hang your bag, your handbag, anything uh, you have, hang it over there. Okay. And then I told you that this toilet can be used by people uh, 
with on wheelchairs you know all types of people so there's this that you can use to support yourself while sitting or standing if you're in pain or something and then this is the toilet paper dispenser there's always toilet paper always and then this is where you put your used sanitary towels these are also some other support system that that people might need to support themselves and then we also have this you know so if you're recording like myself you can put whatever <laughs> over there now these toilets they are automatic this is the the button you press so that you can it can flash but there's also these uh it has also um sensors that when you stand it automatically flashes so you don't have to press it so of course you can and sit down there's no smell at all you can um you can come with a book you read of course don't do that because there are other people who will need to use a bathroom don't come and read your books <laughs> in public toilets because there are other people who would like to use the toilet but uh I'm just saying, you know, if you're on toilet, it's so comfortable, no smell at all. So you can come with a book and you know, read and all that. If you don't identify as a female, if you don't uh, identify as a male, you identify as all the others other than those, then you can use this bathroom, gender-free bathroom for every other gender. And uh, I want to say that from the point of a woman who identifies as a woman who was born a woman. Now, people go through a lot. And personally, I went through some uh, difficult moments growing up as a child. Some things happen to people which leave them with trauma. And, um, and uh, how do I say this? And sometimes there are people who are just scared of sharing bathrooms with people who don't look like them, like them. This is not discrimination. So I will give my personal story. So I have a trauma and this trauma was as a result of something that happened when I was a child. And just sharing a bathroom with a man let's say he was born a man but identifies as a woman would really scare me you know and uh, i know they identify as women and so they're women but they have that thing dingling in their pants that alone scares me, especially sharing a toilet with them. And I can only imagine like also for kids, girls, young girls who are born like girls, like to share like a bathroom with someone who was born a man, but identifies as a woman, sharing the same bathroom with those different, different physical body parts can be sometimes torture to some people. So this is not to discriminate or something but i think i think it's a good thing for this organization to consider that fact that uh, there are people who are neither males or females and it's good that they have their own bathroom that's all i wanted to say if you are on a wheelchair or you're disabled somehow and you cannot open the door with the handle you can just press on there yeah and this is how it looks like it's just um one it's so big though why can't i why can't i close it okay so this, this is how it looks like pretty much like uh, the other bathroom it has a place where you can hang your bag your coat paper towel dispenser and then we have also our a trash can also for this one for you to lock it you just press here and it's locked so you don't have to use the button and then to open you press here for the toilet itself it's pretty much the same as the other one you guys here in Canada you will almost see trash cans everywhere literally everywhere you will find trash cans and that's a good thing because if you have um, if you have trash you don't have to look for a place to you know 
to um, throw your your trash. They are super clean. Look at that. There are people who do their job, they're employed to make sure trash cans are clean, they're changed, all the dirty ones are gone. So this is a new bag that has been placed for each. The other thing is they try to um, sort garbage. So you don't just throw anything, everything to one trash can. So as you can see, this is non-recyclable landfill waste. Those ones that you cannot recycle, and then you have mixed paper. So if you have like a paper of any sort, like a paper from a book, you know, magazine, uh, these are delivery papers. You throw the in here. If you have plastics over there, cans, plastic, hard plastic, and tin, that's where you you throw them. Now this is for men. I'm pretty much sure it's the same as. The women's toilet i don't know if i want to get into a man's toilet to be honest let's just peek because it's a sunday there are not so many people yeah it's pretty much the same um the trash can paper towel dispenser the, the hands washing area is not as big as the women's oh of course and the males have this look at how clean it is the urinal it's so clean you guys there and then we have one toilet how why is it that men have only one toilet anyway you guys i have to get out before before wait i've seen something oh you guys what is this doing here even men have got sanitary towels and tampons and you guys one thing i didn't tell you about look it's organic cotton so it's the highest quality oh my goodness anyway let's go out okay guys that's a first world toilet let me know in the comment section uh how different these toilets here in canada are from the toilets in where you live whether in a third world country or a first world or a second world do a comparison uh with your own toilets in your home country and let me know what differences are there thank you so much for staying with me let me know in the comment section what you would like to see in a first world country okay let me know in the comment section and thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for watching my videos and i'll see you in my next video Nana.